Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Hello, friends. So again, you'll just need a, uh, one block or something of that sort, and then uh, a strap if you'd like it. Is it Karen and Tom or just Karen? Yeah. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> awesome. And then Karen Yoder, too. Hi. Looks like you're practicing outside as well. <laughs> We're out here at um, Fern Ridge Farm. Many of you know Fern Kitchen from the Breathe Building. So this is the this is the farm where. Let's see if I can give you guys a little. Well, 360 degrees. There's the gardens over there. If we can see. Let me, let me try and go this way. Up and over, there's all the gardens where the food is grown at Fern Ridge Farm. We've got Julie here. <laughs> Mother's Day at Fern Ridge Farm. Happy Mother's so, Day, everyone. Yeah. So we'll be enjoying the sunshine out here. Todd's making sure that uh, the sprinklers don't come on right here in the cloister during the middle of our class. That wouldn't be so great. All right, good morning, good morning, everyone. So can you see me and hear me if I come back here? Just give me a thumbs up, you can see me and hear me. Two thumbs up, okay. All righty. Okay, so come to your mat and let's just start standing. So we'll do a bit of a warm up. All right, so come up to standing. I'm gonna adjust this for a second because I've got you guys. Hang on one second. And just start to swing your arms, swing your legs. Just do a moment of a warm up. Just have to readjust one thing. Okay. My head's not cut off. All right, so just move your arms across your chest. Look up and look down. So before we sit and, and find our center with a little bit of breathing, now start to rotate through your spine, through your upper back, your thoracic, and spin onto your toes. So you start to get rotation through your entire trunk. And then look up and look down. Move your shoulders into circles across your body and even some side stretch, a little bit of a reach and invoke your breath into its natural way. So just start to observe how your breath, your natural rhythm is this morning. Today's practice, we're calling it Sacred Mother Earth, a nice botanical flow. So we're just working to call in, even if you're inside, that sense of being held by the Great Mother today. And then come back to center, slow it down, stretch your arms up and overhead, squeeze your fists, your face, your belly, your chest, your thighs, squeeze, and let it go relax, shake it out. Let's do that again twice more. Inhale, lift up, squeeze your hands, your fists, your face, your belly, your legs, tighten, 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 and exhale, relax and let it go. And even get a little shake and bounce. And one more time, every single muscle, hands, wrists, face, belly, chest, thighs, front, back, squeeze, even your toes, squeeze, 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 and relax. All right, now to come to the ground, it's not like a controlled fall. So when you come down to the ground, do a nice, kinetic movement so there's a intentional way to get down to the ground and come to kneeling grab your block if you'd like and sit for a moment align your pelvis your chest and your neck right there in neutral and then rest your hands in your lap so again, if you're just signing on, we're here today at, at Fern Ridge Farm. Many of you have been to the Breathe Building and had food at Fern Kitchen. So you'll hear those beautiful sounds of the birds and 
just want to welcome you here today for our sacred Mother Earth flow. And so wherever you are, whatever town you're in or home you're in, allow yourself to land here now, arriving fully for your practice. And bring your awareness to your nostrils with the, your eyes gently closed. Inhale, bring your breath through your nostrils up to your third eye point and pause that space of deep intuition, deep knowing. And from that place, visualize your breath, two streams of breath moving out. Ujjayi pranayama. And again, inhale two streams of breath through your nostrils as they become one, winding together to that point, that center point. And exhale one stream of breath becoming two. And continue like that, inhale two streams of breath, your breath widens, your chest fills. And exhale two streams of breath releasing out and even lengthen your spine here. Relax your belly, invite your breath, inhale all the way up to that third eye point, widen through your rib basket. And exhale, the one stream of breath becomes two. And continue like that, just invoking your ujjayi breath. Just notice where there's any points of tension or holding. And allow your breath to support just a structural release, jaw tension, mind tension. And through your breath, may you permission yourself today to just be in your body. with community and receive the medicine from showing up. Exhale out all of your breath. Join your hands to your heart and we'll chant one ohm together to begin. Inhale your breath. Om. your head to your folded hands and take a moment on this sacred day honoring the great mother or whatever relationship you have with that word just coming to a moment here and may your practice be what holds you today release your hands down lift your gaze open your eyes move your block to the side and come to all fours hands and knees from all fours, hands and knees, move through your spine. So a gentle undulation through cat cow and even side to side. So you can take the linear form through your flexion and extension and even allow that side to side shift. Invoke your pelvis, your mid back, your upper back. And then again, start to invite your ujjayi breath into the movement here as well. Inhale and exhale through your nose. And come to neutral, tuck your toes, press back downward facing dog. Move however you'd like, so pedal through your legs, Lift and lower a limb, shake your head yes and no, and bend and straighten your knees. Just take a moment here, taking inventory of your joints, your muscles, your energy level. Inhale. 
and bring your knees down to the floor, sit back on your heels, and again, shake out through your arms. Lift your head, move through your wrists, cross your chest. Okay, and then come back down to all fours, hands and knees. Bring your knees closer together so you have a three-pointed base. Take your left knee out and make some hip circles. As you make your hip circles, keep your neck free. So there's a tendency to have our neck be frozen here. Look around the room as if your neck could circle as well. And then notice if you're holding your breath and go the opposite way. Big circles. and come to neutral, straighten your left leg behind you, swivel your right foot out to the right and come into a gate pose. Bring your right hand to the middle, left hand up to your pelvis. Okay. Now lift your left leg up. Reach your left arm up and overhead. So pause here, you can move or stabilize, elbow to knee and re-expand. Elbow to knee, that'll be your inhalation, exhale to expand. Now find your own pace and your own rhythm. And for me, it's helpful if I look up and look down. So remember your whole spine moves together from your tailbone up to your neck. So if you keep your head frozen, you're gonna lose some of that ability. Come back to center, re-expand, pause, and bring your hand and your knee down to the floor, sit back on your heels, and again, shake out your arms. Give it a nice good shake, shake, shake. And second side, hands and knees, bring your knees closer together. Hip circles, right side. Fluid breath. And again, look up and down, side to side. And honoring the elements that live within you, the sacred earth elements, the fire starting to warm up, that heat, earth, your physical structure, water, your sweat wind, your breath. And bring your right leg to straight, pause. Left leg comes out, gate pose. So take a moment just to adjust your stance. Left hand comes more to the middle. Spin your left leg out and lift your right leg up. So you can stay here to stabilize or again, add elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Turn your head, look up, look down. Press through your left hand the whole time. Inhales to connect, exhales to expand. Again, you choose your pace. And come back to expansion, pause and reach. Hands and knees down, sit back on your heels. And this time go up and down. Shake out through your wrists. And come to all fours, hands and knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, three breaths. Ujjayi. Notice if you can just feel your breath in your nose, but as you breathe, widen your lungs by expanding your rib basket. Feel your breath all the way down low. And inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump forward to the top of your space. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Press through your legs, come all the way up to stand, reach full, reach tall. And tighten your hands, tighten your wrists, your fists, your belly, your chest. And exhale, release your hands and shake it out. All right, Surya Namaskar. Top of your space. Stretch your arms up and overhead, inhale. Hands through to your heart, fold forward, Uttanasana, exhale. Lift up halfway, breathe in. First one, let's step to plank, everybody, and hold. Grip your mat and bring your knees down. Keep your neck free, shift your weight forward, and go down nice and slow, Chaturanga. Stable center, stable core, all the way down to the earth. Lengthen your legs, rise up, cobra pose. Breathe and rise. 
Take a moment to sway a little bit side to side. <clears throat> yes, and turn your head. <sighs> Release back down to the earth. Tuck your toes, inhale to all fours, hands and knees or plank. And exhale, let's go back downward dog. <sighs> nice work, everybody. Breathe and stretch. Salutation to the sacred sun, this light that warms us internally and externally. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and step or jump forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and exhale to fold. Press down through your legs, inhale, rise to stand, and exhale, hands to your heart. So again, salutations to the sacred sun. The yogis and the sages, they did this for many years, paying homage, blessings to the sun. So even if in your house, you can feel that lengthen, step back to plank. So with bent knees or straight legs, keep your neck free and slowly lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Take your time and rise up Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. In up dog, thighs are off the mat. Push the floor away, lift your chest. Yes. And downward facing dog, come all the way back. And you can always take this flow on all fours, hands and knees, or skip it all together and meet in downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and step or jump forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Let's pause here in the fold, widen your feet to max width. Bend your knees, take your belly all the way down to your thighs and take your two peace fingers around your big toes, Padangustasana. So once your belly is down to your thighs, keep that connection, drop your head, pull up with your hands, push down with your toes and now use the strength of your muscles to straighten and bend your knees. So rather than separating your belly from your thighs, Work that closed chain connection to find your hamstring length and space. Breathe into that. And then release your hands from your toes. Keep your feet wide. Press down through your legs and inhale. Stand all the way up. Reach, squeeze your hands, your fists, your belly, your chest, and exhale, shake it out. Okay. So we'll work, um, a, a sequence here from the wide leg position. Take your hips back, bend your knees, take your belly to your thighs. Now take your left hand and reach to the outside of your right foot and reach your right arm up. Press down through your legs and you'll switch your arms, come up, right hand comes across, left arm comes back, come high onto your right tiptoes. And again, switch your hands, dive down to the outside of your right foot rise up switch your hands and reach it almost feels like a golf swing come all the way down pause and all the way up rise so now keep going and try to find different places that you can tap on the outside of your foot the second layer when you rise is to step your right foot behind your left so you can stay with the chair or step behind inhales down Exhales to integrate and reach. As you come down, keep your neck free. And if you'd like to maintain a stretch, hold your outer wrist and side bend looking down. A few more times at your own pace and your own rhythm. Honor those earth elements, those blessings within you. Water, heat, strength, breath. And last one, everybody come up, whatever position you can find yourself in, right leg behind left, hold your wrist and side bend. Yeah. There you go, find that connection and breathe into the sensation. Come back to neutral, find your feet again wide, rise up and shake it out. Give it a little bounce, get your blood moving. Shake out through your whole skin suit. Okay, second side, my friends. Find your wide stance. Yes, hips back. Reach right hand to outer left foot. Left hand comes back. 
rise up, switch, and reach. So this is much for our brain as it is for our body. So if at first it feels a little confusing, just take your time. Contralateral, so crossing. Yes, dive and reach. So try really moving your spine in those different positions. On the downward, flex your spine. On the upward, extend your spine. Keep your neck free. And again, to add the second layer, step your left leg behind your right. Warm up and lubricate your entire spine experience. Every facet joint through your neck all the way down to your pelvis. Yes. Now, if you'd like to hold your stretch, grab your wrist, forward bend slightly, and breathe into your side ribs. A few more rounds. Choose your own adventure here. And let's meet together, left leg behind right, hold your wrist, find the connection, bow forward slightly, and then side bend. Breathe, stabilize and come up, rise up through your arms. And again, get your vascular system moving, shake your blood, shake your wrists, your chest, your swinging parts, your hanging parts to bounce. No one can see you, really let it move. I mean, I can see some of you, but you're very tiny. So move, 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 shake, 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 shake. And then come to stand, find your feet on the earth, close your eyes for a moment. Feel your blood, that inner buzz your aliveness. May we honor here those sacred earth elements within and without. One more full breath in, down and wide. And full breath out, just to release anything you don't wanna hold here in your skin. Go ahead and open your eyes, bend your knees and touch the floor. You can adjust your feet more to hip width distance and stretch your arms up for Utkatasana chair pose. Hands through to center, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And this time step or jump Chaturanga or meet in downward dog. Rise, Cobra, up dog, full breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet close together. Lift your right leg up and back, inhale. Draw your right knee towards your chest, round your spine and contact your right elbow. Inhale, re-expand. Again, you can do this on hands and knees. Cross the midline, tap left arm. Re-expand, inhale. To the middle, round your spine and step between your hands. Bring your back heel down, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Reach your arms, come all the way up. Squeeze your hands, squeeze your fist, your chest, your belly, your thighs, and exhale, let it go and swing. And one more time, so that's called pendiculation. We squeeze, we activate, we tense, and then relax. So tension brings relaxation. Now reach your chest forward, left arm forward, right arm back. We call this warrior windmills. Stable in your legs, rise up, left arm comes back, and right arm reaches up. Inhale, come forward, and even slightly to the left. Exhale, rise, left hand can come behind your back to your thigh. Inhale forward and exhale back. So you can stay with this or add a second layer. When you come forward, shift towards a warrior three. And when you come back to a warrior one. So stay with your stable warrior legs or unplug your back leg and work through the transition. Keep freeing up your neck. Yes, and invoking your breath. Well done. Keep going. Stable through your midline, through your center. So when you shift forward, notice if you're hanging on your hip joint. So try to lift off your hip joint and stretch. Yes. And let's meet in warrior one, left hand back, right arm up. Take your hand behind the base of your skull. 
Press your hand to your leg, your leg to your hand. Lift up and curl back. Now take your left arm and reach all the way up, stretch fully so you get all the way into your psoas. Left arm all the way up, stretch through your left leg. Reach, 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 reach. And take your hand down, press back, plank pose. Okay, downward dog or child's pose. Hold your plank, stable. And then lower your hips slightly and press up through your upper back. Lower your hips and press. So go about 10 times, you choose your pace. Stable core activation in your plank. Look down and look forward. Three, two, on one, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. And breathe your way back, downward dog. Keep your mind soft, right? Remember why you showed up. Stay present in your body. Feet together, left leg up, inhale. Left knee comes forward, tap your outer left arm. Inhale, back up, reach and twist. Cross your midline, contact. Inhale, re-expand. Knee to chest, round your spine, step forward. Here we go, second side, warrior one, come all the way up, squeeze and tighten. And exhale, let it go, shake it out. Shake it out. And warrior windmills, come forward, right arm forward, left arm back, belly towards your thigh. Switch your arms, come up, right arm back, left arm rises. Forward, take your time, breathe, inhale. Exhale, switch your arms and rise. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rise. So keep going like that, and then layer two, part two, when you come forward, transition Vera three. Warrior one. Choosing whatever movement is healing for you, whatever is medicinal for you. And again, when you shift forward, lift up through your center of gravity so you're not falling on your back hip. Keep your neck free, spine fluid, muscles strong. Warrior one, let's come back together, pause. Right hand comes back to hamstring, left arm comes up behind the base of your skull. So for this one to get deep into the right side of your psoas and your hip flexor, squeeze your legs, tone your belly, lean back. Now stretch your right arm way up so you make the connection with your left hand behind your head. Reach and rise as you curl back. One more breath. And release forward, step back, plank pose. From plank pose, bring your left hand towards the midline, shift over into side plank vashistasana, or take your modified form. From your modified form or your plank position, lower your hips slightly and rise back up through your pelvis. Lower, right arm comes down towards your leg and rise back up. So I'm taking the modified form because I actually feel like I get a little bit more power and stability to move here. Three, two, and one hand down, switch sides. Plank pose, stable. Left hand towards your foot. Rise and reach. Lower and reach. Keep going. And again, if you'd like to just stay down and enjoy your side stretch, it's a very fine place to be. Three, two, on one, hands down, plank pose, pause and reset. And exhale, lower all the way down. Rise up, cobra pose or up dog, inhale. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and step or jump forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Separate your feet to hip width distance apart again or wider. Pada Hastasana. Take your hands underneath your feet, belly to your thighs, drop your head. Bend and straighten your legs a few times. So it's not just about a stagnant hold, but about using your breath to create the rhythm and the container for change. 
Yes. Slowly release Padahastasana. Ground through your legs and inhale, rise all the way up to stand, stretch, come all the way up. And exhale, take your hands to your heart, shake it out. Take your feet to hip width distance apart. Bend your knees and touch the floor, belly to your thighs. Stretch your arms forward, bring your hands into Namaste. And then rise and stretch through your spine, chair pose, palms together. Now take your hands to your heart, inhale. Lean forward and twist, exhale, left elbow to right thigh. Press your elbow to your leg, your leg to your elbow. And instead of turning from your sacrum, turn from your mid to upper back. And then all the way up through your cervical spine, look up if you can, keeping your neck free. One more breath here, stable in your twist. Rehug your legs, inhale back to center, stand up this time, reach, and exhale, hands to your heart. Again, bend your knees and touch the floor, belly to your thighs. Reach your hands forward, arms outstretched, palms together. Stable through your legs, now stretch your back up, reach tall, hands to your heart, pause, inhale. Exhale, turn and twist, right elbow to left thigh. So instead of forcing yourself into your twist from your elbow, wrenching against your leg, breathe your way through it, right? You're not holding here, suffering. It's an opportunity to be in the challenge, but softly breathe through it. Restabilize, re-hug. Inhale, back to center. Come all the way up, everyone. Reach tall, reach tall. And exhale, release your hands and shake it out. So we'll add this Surya Namaskar again um, with Surya B, and now we'll add some more twists. Stretch up, breathe in, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back. Vinyasa of choice, or we'll meet in downward dog. Rise, breathe, and exhale, push back. Take your feet wide, as wide as your yoga mat. Lift your heels and bend your knees. Now take your right hand to your outer left shin. Find contact on the outer edge of your leg. Turn underneath your left arm as you just did in your twist. Now bring your hand back to center, pull yourself forward, plank pose. Bend your knees, push yourself back and twist. Left hand to outer right thigh. Yes. So this will be your inhale. Exhale, pull yourself forward. Bend your knees, inhale and twist, straighten your legs. Bend your knees and exhale, pull yourself forward. Push back and pull forward. Another option is just to work on bending your knees and pushing back, forward and back. The twist is just an option here in our flow. Come back to plank pose, pause. Push back, downward dog. Bring your feet together to touch. Right leg high, inhale. <clears throat> Draw your knee towards your chest, round your spine and step forward between your hands. Bring your back knee down, rise. Anjaneyasana, take your arms up and hands to your heart. Shift your weight forward, breathe in and exhale, turn and twist. So you can stay here in your twist with your back knee down or lift your back thigh up. Second part here is to take your left hand down to your outer foot and reach all the way up and even take your arm up and overhead. All right, so your knee can stay down, twist elbow to thigh, so twist towards me. There you go. Breathe into the sensation. Back left thigh up, stable pelvis and turn above your navel from your mid back. Okay, re-stabilize your legs, hug strong, inhale, come back to center, rise. And exhale, take your hands down to the floor, step back, plank pose. Move through vinyasa or take your twist to your plank. Come back to plank, feet together, push back downward dog, left leg high. Inhale your breath, 
Exhale, step forward, knee to chest, drop your back, leg down. Rise up, Anjaneyasana, breathe and reach. Hands to your heart, pause, shift forward, inhale. Exhale, turn and twist, elbow to thigh. Stay here, lift your back leg up. So there's a tendency here to turn actually from your legs and your pelvis. So you wanna stabilize the bottom half, make that very earthy and dense and use your breath, a wind element to turn. Free your neck and twist from the strength of your core. Restabilize, re-hug, inhale, come all the way up, stretch to rise. And exhale, take your hands down to the floor, step back to plank. Vinyasa or plank to twist. So you get an oblique, turn and oblique stabilize or you of course you've got your vinyasa nice Julie and let's meet in downward dog inhale lift your heels exhale bend your knees and step or jump forward inhale lift and lengthen exhale and fold Press down through your legs, rise to stand, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Pause here and center. Breathe in a way that just invokes you back to your full presence. Feel the warmth of your body, the beat of your heart. And just a moment of quiet. Release your hands down, bring your belly to your thighs again. So round three, this time we'll add lateral warriors with some dive and rise. Reach your hands down towards the floor, drop your head. Keep your chair pose, turn your palms up, rise up into your rise position. Belly to your thighs, flex your spine, dive, inhale, and exhale, rise. You can even dive down towards the left or towards the right. Time just maybe a little bit more sagittal, straight forward. And get the movement more in your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your upper back. Yeah, exactly. Dive and rise. Next time you dive down, stay down, hands to the floor, and lift up halfway, inhale. Place your hands and exhale, step or jump back, vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Right leg up and back, inhale. Again, right knee to right arm, exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee towards left, twist. Inhale, expand. Exhale, knee to chest, slow step. Come all the way up, Virabhadrasana two. Rise all the way up. Now drop your hands, shake them out. Straighten your front leg and bend your back. So similar to a skandasana, bend the back, straighten the front, and start to tap the floor in various positions. Yes. You can even rock back onto your heel. Look up, look down, side to side. And pause in warrior two. Make sure you have your block nearby, so we'll end up using it for our half moon. Block nearby, hands to your pelvis. Bring your forearm to your thigh. Take your left arm forward, round your spine. So similar to what you just did, standing dive. Now turn your palm open and rise. Dive down, reach. Turn your palm open, rise and turn your chest. So keep going. And like for me here, if I could tap every single brick on the ground, I would be getting that diversity in my tissues. So whatever floor is near you, try to tap all those places and spaces. Come to neutral, stretch your left arm up. Take a few air guitars, windmill. And bring your hands down. Walk your hands over for warrior dog. 
take your thighs back and draw your outer right sacrum under. Breathe full. You can stay here or take a humble warrior, hands behind your back, shoulders stretched to fold. So this is where your strap might come in handy. Stable legs. You have your bind slowly released. From warrior dog, walk your hands over, slide your block in, triangle trikonasana. So bring your block to your outer right hand, to your outer foot, straighten your front leg, lift your chest and reach. Stay here and enjoy your well-known, well-loved triangle, or add your thoracic movement through your shoulder, the dive and rise here. Another option is to take your arm circles. So again, honor what your body needs. Today does it need more earth, more strength, more heat, more fire, more breath and sensitivity. All needed. Your breath and your sweat cleansing. So wherever you're at, take your top hand to your hip, your pelvis looks down. Bring your block with you. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, come all the way up. Now, similar to when we were in our gate pose, you can stay here in your Ardha Chandrasana or take your left arm overhead and connect elbow to knee and knee to elbow. We'll be here for about five breaths. Again, you choose your medicine adventure. Back to half moon pause, nice job and come all the way to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, come all the way up, inhale. And hands to the floor, step back, side plank again, left hand as your base, right foot down to stabilize. Stay here or bring your feet to stack or right foot behind left, lift up into your wild thing. And hands down to the floor, whatever position you're in, we'll meet in down dog or move through your vinyasa. All right, left leg up, inhale. Left knee to left elbow, pause. <coughs> inhale, re-expand. And exhale, cross the midline. Inhale to lift. Exhale to step, warrior two, come all the way up. Make sure you have your block nearby. Drop your hands, shake them out. Skandasana kind of movement. Bend the front, straighten the back. You can choose to go lower if you'd like, or even move through the skandasana by staying low. So you can change it up. Nice. Notice if you've started to take yourself too seriously, and can you shift? Remember why you showed up. Three easeful, loving movements. Okay, come back to warrior two. Take your forearm to your thigh. So rather than falling into it, press down. Dive with your right arm and rise up. So move more than just your spine now. Get your scapula, your shoulder blade, to contract and expand as well. So again, I'm trying to tap different bricks on the ground. And you can do that if you have tile on your floor or different parts of your carpet. Find even more of a reach farther away. Yes. And take your hands down to the floor, warrior dog. Thighs back, left thigh bone under. Stay here or clasp your hands behind your back, shoulder stretch. You're in your shoulder stretch, slowly release from your warrior dog. Walk your hands in, grab your block. Straighten your front leg, trikonasana. Stable legs, rise up. Stay here in stillness and breath. Or again, begin to move. So again, it's 
up to you because there are some days when we need to just hold a shape and be with it. And some days when we feel stagnant, we need to really move our blood. Take your air guitar, your big circles here. Feels so good out here in the sunshine with the birds. So wherever you are, just take in the elements of the room you're in. Reach and rise. Hands to your pelvis or hand to your pelvis. Shift your weight forward, lift up, half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Stable, active legs, glutes, thigh bones hug around your bone and reach. Again, elbow to knee. So you know this position, side to side can change. Right? So it might happen to be that you need to hold this shape and breathe. Or you've got a little bit more speed there. Keep your neck free. <laughs> Again, in a sense of humor. Re-expand to your half moon, your Ardha Chandrasana. Virabhadrasana two, come all the way back. And reverse your warrior one breath. Hands to the floor, move your block out of the way. Right hand is your base, step back. Side plank or wild thing. Press down and lift. Hands down to the floor. Vinyasa of choice or we'll meet in child's pose. Everybody just rest your head, your heart, your breath. Come to stillness. Drink in your breath. Checking in again on a deeper level. Attention yourself to this moment right here within yourself. Slowly rise up to all fours, hands and knees. Reach your right leg back behind you, curl your knee towards your chest and step forward to a lunge. Widen your right foot to the right. You can roll over your mat or pad your knee. Walk your right foot out to the side. You can use your block if you'd like. Bring your elbows down to the floor. And instead of falling into the stretch by jamming your pelvis forward, come in and out of your stretch a few times. Squeeze your muscles and pulse into the stretch. So you can choose to stay here and breathe or come back up to your arms, left hand is your base, turn to the right, bend your back knee and hold your foot for a thigh stretch. Come up to your straight arms to do that. And if you'd like to now go down onto your elbow again, it's an option. Press your leg in and at the same time kick away and turn your chest. One more breath here. You have your bind, slowly release. Come back up to straight arms. Keep your foot wide and straighten your right leg. Slide your right leg forward so you can actually take a wide leg Hanumanasana position and move through your pelvis. So you actually swing your pelvis a little bit to the right and swing your pelvis towards the left. Widen through your inner thighs.
And you can choose to stay here, even slide wider apart. And from your wide position, slide yourself back. Rebend your right knee so that you're in a lunge. So a little bit of a transition, slide in. Now take your left knee and bring it forward for half primal squat. Yes, and you can sit on your block if you need. Pull your block in. Half primal squat. So you've got a virasana leg and a squat leg. Now take your forward bend, walk your hands forward. You can even grab onto the bricks here a little bit and get some traction. So if you have some 70s shag carpet, go ahead and grab onto that and pull. <laughs> Drop your head. Or even if you're in the grass, you can get a little traction there. And then walk yourself up to center. So now you've built so far a whole collection of movement through your spine. And that collection includes side bending, flexing, extending, rotating, right? So now start to move in your half primal squat, incorporating that entire collection. Another option is to straighten your right leg and kick away. So we've been here before, elbow to knee, knee to elbow back to your half primal. You might even choose to stand on your right foot and lift up for a standing split. Or even right foot comes down and lift up into a handstand, back down. Again, you've got your adventure based on the movements we've done. Side twist. Add a little bit of momentum for your handstand or even standing up for your warrior three, your windmills. So I'm gonna encourage you here to be playful, right? The great mother, the sacred earth has all sorts of textures, a mosaic of art. So here's where you can build that for yourself. Make your movement like a beautiful springtime meadow filled with different items, textures, color, Yes, so many, I see so many different things happening there on the screen. Nice, good rotation, Neil. <laughs> well done, everyone. Come back to center with your half primal squat. Take your hands down right next to your right foot. Shift your weight forward, so inside your foot and step your left leg back to a lunge. Step back, downward dog. Move through a vinyasa if you'd like. And come to all fours, hands and knees. Reach your left leg back behind you, breathe in and extend. Knee towards chest, step forward to your lunge. Walk your right foot back, bring your block in. And again, come down to your forearms. Breathe into this experience here. Move your pelvis back and forth, even side to side. So you can choose to stay here and breathe or come up to your right arm again. <clears throat> Turn and twist, thigh stretch. Foot to hand, hand to foot. So if you turn towards your left knee, so turn this way. Yes, now turn. There you go. Take your foot to your hand, your hand to your foot. That's it. Nice. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Breathe into that sensation. And slowly release foot to hand. Straighten your front leg again wide hamstring stretch. You can stay upright and tall, keeping your legs toned, or you can even go side to side working that position. So you may want to stay there a while or slide your legs apart.
wherever you're at, walk yourself in and back towards your lunge. Slide your right knee forward, half primal squat. Pull it in and sit on your block or right on your heel. Forward bend, reach down, find some traction, breathe into your back body. And slowly come up. Again, move through your collection of shapes that we've built over the last bit of time together. Flexion, extension, your gate pose, elbow to knee. And side to side, I encourage you not to have it be exactly the same, right? Listen to what uh, shapes are calling your name. Maybe your handstand or stand up for your half moon. Take your warrior windmills. Your side shape. Your handstand. Or even just being with your breath in stillness. Yes. Nice everybody. I like all the different combos happening here. And even on the sides here with Todd and Julie. Let the expression be born from inquiry. Make your way back to center. Walk your hands forward next to your left foot. Shift your weight forward, step back, lunge, and downward dog. Bring your knees down to the earth, cross your ankles, and swing your legs forward. <clears throat> All right. So you can move your block out of the way. Find yourself more on the back of your sacrum. Come down to your elbows and lift your legs up. So you may choose to just stay here, shoulders back, chest up, moving one leg at a time or your knees up in opposition. And then the second phase is to kick your legs away. And when you pull your knees in, pop up to your arms, elbows straight. Kick your legs away, come down to your elbows, knees in, bring yourself to straight, nice. And away and up. Inhale down, exhale up. And so as you go, you can do one leg at a time, change the pattern or even go wide Keep your neck stable and strong. And if you'd like to just be on your back, moving your limbs as so, it's a great place to be. Turn your head side to side. Last three, two, and one. Come all the way up. Nicely done. Take your legs wide. Stretch your arms up overhead. And when you stretch your arms up overhead, it's a, it's a good check-in. If you can't get your arms up, you might need to prop yourself so that you're level and your spine level and your pelvis level. And then take your hands down. So similar to the Skandasana movement that we did, find your reach and your rise. So we did this standing in our chair position, reach with left hand, left hand behind and rise up. You can take different positions and side bend. And of course, if you're like, oh, I've had enough movement by now, you just come forward onto your elbows. And begin to switch sides, right hand, left arm reaches. Side bend. Okay, and wherever you're at, come to center. Stable legs, stable pelvis. Walk your hands forward. And again, find some traction. 
or even a push away. Drop your head and breathe. Honor that sensation of the earth, your house, your space holding you up. And then again, walk yourself up to center, neutral. Hold on to the back of your knees, sweep your legs up, bring them forward and hug your knees into your chest, round your spine, rock back. Rock and roll. And come all the way onto your back. Hold the outside edges of your feet, happy baby. Press your feet to your hands. Find a dual action there to lengthen your spine against the earth. It's full belly breathing. And bring your feet, your heels closer in and straighten your legs, lift your pelvis up and slowly lower your mid back, your lower back towards the floor. So you're getting this uh, grounded Paschimottanasana, that forward bend, but with your back against the earth, it'll give you a different kind of traction through your spine. And slowly release, bring your feet to the earth. Shift your knees side to side. And consider for yourself whatever closing shapes you'd like to take. So whether or not that's an eye of the needle or a supine twist, a bridge, a wheel, And then set yourself up for five minutes of quiet here. And I know sometimes it's hard when we have a virtual experience to have a quiet Shavasana. So I'll say a few words here and there, but mostly silence just to keep you attention. And so either laying on your back or seated, And place your hands either on the earth or on your heart or somewhere on your body where you'd like to feel a connection, a sensation. And then everybody just take a full breath in together and a big sigh, exhale, ah. And one more time, inhale a full breath. And ah, uh, and attention yourself now just to the inner sensation, to your heartbeat, the stillness, to your aliveness, to all the elements within. your mind wanders, bring yourself back to a sensory experience of heartbeat, of breath.
wherever you're at, bring your awareness again into a deeper breath pattern. And begin to rub your hands together, create some heat, some warmth, some friction. And then just feel in your body where you'd like to install this, this heat, this warmth, this fire element. If it's your heart or your navel or your third eye, rub it together, create that contact, and then place your hands on your body and breathe that in. And release your hands down by your sides. We'll close with a final pendiculation so again, we see our animals do this. It's a way that we tension to bring in more relaxation. So begin with your hands, squeeze your hands, your fists, your face, your belly, your legs, your thighs, squeeze, 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 squeeze everything and relax and shake it out. And then one more time, just consider what it is you're holding in your body that you'd like to actually permission out. So again, start with your hands, squeeze your hands, your wrists, your fists, your arms, your face, your belly, your chest, your thighs, your toes, squeeze front, back, squeeze, 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 and let it go. Shake, release, release. And now slowly bring yourself up to the side and up to kneeling or seated. Join your hands to your heart. We'll close with one ohm. If you'd like to turn your mic on, you can and join us or just have that you know, understanding that we're all here together. Even if we feel apart, that sound is uniting. The ohm brings us together in this way the, from the vibration of our hearts. And we offer this ohm to the sacred earth today. On this day of Mother's Day, may this sound be heard, this healing vibration for the sacred planet that helps all of us. May we give back with the sound of love from our hearts today. Exhale your breath fully. Inhale for Om. Om. Place your hands down to the earth, to the floor. Thank you, great mother, great spirits, to this beautiful world, even inside of struggle, we are held by the trees, the plants, the sun, the wind, the earth. May we give back today with gratitude and with appreciation. Release your hands, many blessings and namaste. 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 Thank you friends. Nice to spend the Mother's Day with you all. <laughs> Fern Ridge Farm here. Thanks, friends. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Julie. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Thanks, Gail. Thank you. Thanks for the lip balm. Oh, yeah, you got it. Awesome. She's our lip balm winner. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much. It's awesome. You're welcome. Good. Oh, we Great. got the puppies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Puppy dogs. Got King here. Oh Thank goodness. You, Annie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. You're welcome, Thank everyone. You. Thank you, Annie. Welcome. Have a blessed day. Bye, everybody. Uh, so sweet. Bye, Annie. Happy Mother's Day. Everybody gone? Yeah.